today's video a whole bunch of square body content i'm gonna look at that but it's kind of weird because okay score body content i forgot to put my glasses on score body content here you go i'm filming this intro from kfc mm. finger looking good trying to get this cleaned up around the house here we just got so much stuff trash everywhere there's my new garage Got the F-350 stuck in that mud hole earlier. Just so much to do around here. Good morning, everybody. Finally got these tires and wheels loaded up here. We're taking these 33s off, and we're putting 37s on to go on that blazer over there. Very exciting day. Now I gotta get them home, find the key for my lug nuts so I can put them on. 18 millimeter six point for the re to the rescue, but it is only three eighths drive, so I'm being careful, but it did get this off. When do you stop? When it's done. Not when you feel like it. Keep pushing. It's dark, it's late. We're out here plugging away. Getting her done. Here we go. They're on there. I gotta redo the center caps. I could have gone with 40s, but I really didn't want to. What do you think of that? <clears throat> That'll work. I like them. All right, here we go. They're on here. 20 by 14 vision wheels. 37, 13, 50, 20s versus the old 35s. Wow, that's weird. In the camera, they don't look much different. But they are. We are uh, poking out a little bit. We got all, all of them on. I'm going to get spike lug nuts and stuff, so I'll get a better video tomorrow, but I'm happy. I got to get, I got to machine the uh, center caps down to get them to fit, but check it out. All right, here's a daylight video. Zoom out here. Let's see here. There you go. All right. Damn, I can't even get back far enough. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh yeah, that's looking good right there. And then my old wheels are gonna go on here. This is a 75 blazer. We're gonna put one tons under it. I have them out back behind another blazer, on another blazer. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Okay, we're gonna work on the shorty. I should have done it before, but this is a during. We got to pull the headers out the bottom. But all this, because I got to get that off to put my new temp sender in for my electric fans. And I have to work on my radiator. So um, then we're going to paint the motor and all that good fancy stuff. But uh, I think I had a leak. I think you could tell where it came from. Who knows, you know? So there's my dirty motor. Um, mystery color. So, you can see I got quite a few new parts in here. Check out the rest of the video to check it all out. Got new valve covers. Running the old 75 is a yard truck today. Got to move this trailer. Because I sold that trailer. So that trailer has to go way up there. I'm taking the 6 liter 4L65 out of that. And putting it in that eventually but for now I'm gonna throw a 305 in it just to get her running that's a 73 blazer right there that's the uh, one that's gonna mate with the red truck so we got a whole lot of mating going on we just can't park this stuff too close together but pretty good yard truck all 
All right, we just uh, put the headers on real quick. I got that temp sender in there, right there. So now I can hook up my electric fans and stuff. I just threw some paint on the engine headers. Didn't even sand the headers down or the engine or anything. I have a new intake and I have new valve covers. So um, I'll just paint that black real quick. I got to paint that black someday. But just uh, just going through and getting stuff done. We got. I still got to put the rest of the exhaust on, but I got to tighten these up. I fired it up once, and we had a little backfire. So um, the cap, distributor cap, we got a uh, cap and rotor. I put a new one on because uh, the old one was broke, so that's why it was running so bad. But there we go. We're going to work on it, and then I got to park it because I got to go to work for a couple weeks. There they go. My fans are in action. I guess you could say it's only the fans are on now. Only fans. No engine. Right? That's my blazer with only fans running. <laughs> okay. Now it's time for a test drive. Now I know the fans work. My steering wheel is still crooked. I got to take the, uh, it's not as easy as just turning the, the uh, linkage. You got to take it apart and redo it. That means that I got that much less turn. But, gauge is looking pretty good. That's about 160. That howl is the uh, hub sticking on the uh, passenger side. The hub stuck locked. Rolling on 37s. All right, let's see how good we got. There's the sounds of my fans. It's kicking on where it's supposed to be. So, the only thing that sucks is the key's got to be on. So, not sure what... Oops, dropped you. There we go. Kind of thinking I want to do a nice gauge cluster. Um, crossover steering and rear disc brakes. But, um, just not sure. So, um, I'll have to figure out what's next. But I do have the throttle body in the garage and valve cover still. So, that's got to get down here pretty soon. The weird thing, the thing that's kind of bummer is the temp sender's in the head. So, you know, it's hard to know a good temperature. Maybe I'll swap. That's what I should do. What do you think? It's better to swap the intake? Because the gauge goes off the intake. But the sensor for the fan goes off the head. Maybe it's more important to have the sensor at the head. So, okay. I think I got a problem. See the gas go in there erratically? fans yet. So you can hear it idle up when the fuel pump.
firing. Got for temperature. It's not enough to turn the fans on yet. I guess I'm gonna have to go for a ride and test it.